thanks for joining me today. Um, today's Cooking in the Kitchen with Kelly, we are going to be making our own elderberry syrup. Um, as many of you know, elderberry is a really great immune boosting um, herb or, or we'll be making a syrup with it, but it helps boost your immune system naturally. Um, science has even proven that it helps to fight off at least eight different strands of, um, of the influenza germ, virus, whatever. And so um, today we're going to learn how to make your own elderberry syrup uh, for a fraction of the cost that it would typically, you know, cost you for an eight ounce um, bottle of, of elderberry syrup. So let's begin. We are going to start with a large pot, okay? And we're going to start with about four cups of some good, clean, fresh water. Um, I like to collect our own spring water because um, it just, you know, it has a lot less junk in it like what you would normally get out of the tap. So four cups of fresh water water whether it's from your well or if you have a good filtration system or even if you need to buy it you know so uh, it's just better than tap water and then we will go with four ounces of dried elderberry or you can use fresh elderberry whatever you have available um so oh first <laughs> we need to turn the stove on so let's do that and we're going to get the water heating up because we're going to bring this all to a boil. So, add in our four ounces of elderberry. Give that a little stir. Okay. And then next, we're going to be adding in some rose hips. And rose hips, you can find anywhere in the woods, pretty much. Um, well, at least here in Ohio. <laughs> A little different, I'm sure, in other states. Uh, but here in Ohio, um, the best time to collect your fresh rose hips would be right after the first frost. Um, that's when the picking is good because. Um, the, you know, as you know, the, the rose hips come from the flower of the rose, and so after the flower has closed up and it, it starts to form that little ball there at the, the base of, of where the flower was. So um, after the first frost, get your hiking boots on and go pick you a bunch of rose hips. They're great and um, they're full of vitamin C, um, so it's another great thing to add to your syrup help boost your immune system. So we're going to add about three ounces of vitamin, <laughs> three ounces of vitamin C, <laughs> rose hips. Okay, give it a stir. All right. Next, we're going to be adding cinnamon. Um, cinnamon is a really pungent herb. Um, a lot of people really like it. It's anti, uh, antimicrobial, so, you know, it helps, um, to, you know, fight off anything microbially. Um, and it's also, uh, very tasty, as many of you know, and, and so it does help add a nice flavor, um, to your syrup, but it is also a very warming herb. It helps just warm you up. I mean, when you're sick, you typically tend to be kind of cold and clammy, so this is another great way to um, naturally warm your system. So I'm adding in about five um, sticks of cinnamon. Okay, get those stirred in there. Okay, next we're going to be adding licorice root. Okay. Um, now, licorice root is a very powerful antiviral herb. Um, it's also it's also one that um, people with hypertension or if you're pregnant might want to leave this out. Um, 
because it will raise your blood pressure and things like that. Um, but it's also, I mean, if, if you don't suffer from any of that or, or if you're not pregnant, then I would definitely recommend um, adding this in there. And so um, it, it really helps sort of, it helps to not allow the virus to penetrate the membranes. Um, so it's just, it's got a lot of great qualities to it. It's one that um, a lot you should add to your regimen, definitely. So we are going to add in about two tablespoons of licorice. Give it a whirl. Okay. And now we are going to add some black pepper. Um, about one teaspoon of black pepper okay and um, what the black pepper is helpful for is it helps to make all of this stuff more bioavailable for to absorb into your system um, it also helps to sort of activate all of this stuff helps it to circulate into your body get it into your body a lot quicker so it's not not a whole lot that we've added to it but just enough to really give it an oomph okay so what we're going to do from this point is let this come to a boil and let's take a look at our lovely concoction here see what we've got oh yes yes okay boiling starting to come to a boil all right and so what we're going to do from this point is just cover it um, with our lid okay cover it with a nice lid there and turn off our heat and we're going to let it set and simmer for about 20 minutes so I'll see you back here in just a few